For centuries, the Shroud of Turin has defied science, faith, and time. A feigned image of a man, naked, wounded, crucified, burned into 14 feet of ancient linen. Some call it the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, others dismiss it as a medieval forgery. But now, Artificial intelligence has scanned it, and what it revealed has left both scientists and theologians stunned. To truly understand how powerful this AI scan was, we need to first understand some important details about the Shroud. The Shroud of Turin first appeared in the 14th century in Lyrie, France. No fanfare, no holy decree, just a knight claiming it was the burial Shroud of Christ. The Catholic Church never officially declared it authentic, but it quietly became one of the most studied and controversial artifacts in history. Everything changed in 1898 when Italian photographer Secondo Pia took the first photograph of the shroud. On his photographic negative, the blurred marks transformed into a stunningly clear face and body. For the first time, the world saw the man of the shroud. Not as a faint imprint, but in realistic, haunting detail. There were no brush strokes, no pigment. Scientific tests confirmed traces of real human blood, likely type AB, and Middle Eastern pollen woven into the fabrics. The wounds matched Roman crucifixion methods with anatomical precision unheard of in medieval art. Nails in the wrists, scourge marks across the back, bleeding from the scalp, a pierced side. But then something strange happened. In 1988, three leading laboratories, Oxford, Zurich, and the University of Arizona, conducted carbon-14 dating on a small sample. The results seemed decisive. 1260 to 1390 AD, a medieval creation case closed. Or so they thought. Almost immediately, textile experts argued that the sample came from a repaired corner, a patch woven in after fire damage in the Middle Ages. That contamination could have skewed the results by centuries. Later studies supported this possibility, showing that the weave of the tested area didn't match the rest of the cloth. And here's where things get really interesting. In 2022, Italian scientists used a technique called wide-angle X-ray scattering. Unlike carbon dating, it analyzes the molecular structure of fibers to determine age. Their findings? The shroud's linen appeared to be around 2,000 years old, dating between 55 and 74 AD, exactly the time of Jesus' crucifixion. Isotope analysis of the flax pointed to the Levant, modern-day Israel and surrounding regions, not Europe. Still, skeptics say age alone doesn't prove it wrapped Jesus. But then came the most unexpected twist. In 2025, a researcher fed high-resolution scans of the shroud into AI image analysis software, instructing it to reconstruct the man behind the image without artistic embellishment. The results stopped people in their tracks. But before I get to that, make sure you take a second to grab your very own Shroud of Turin shirt from godcollection.com. Thousands of people around the world are already wearing it to represent their faith. Now it's your turn. Now let's get back to the video. The AI produced a raw, rugged Middle Eastern man, bloodied brow, deep-set eyes, and a calm, almost haunting expression. No halo, no European features from medieval paintings. Forensic experts noted it matched anthropological data for a first-century Jewish male. Social media exploded. Some saw the face of Christ, others saw a remarkable coincidence. Critics pointed out AI can inherit bias from millions of images it's trained on. But the details, the wounds, the symmetry, the proportions, came directly from the Shroud's own data, not a painting. Then more AI tests simulated how the image might have formed. In some reconstructions, the body appeared to hover above the cloth, as though the imprint came from light, not pressure. This eerily echoes the radiation burst hypothesis, the idea that the image was formed by a sudden, intense release of energy, possibly ultraviolet light, powerful enough to scorch the outermost fibers without burning through them. One physicist calculated it would take billions of watts in a fraction of a second, energy levels beyond anything we can reproduce in a lab. And here's the most unsettling part. The shroud shows no signs of decomposition. The body appears to have been in contact with the cloth only briefly before vanishing, too short for decay 
too long for a staged hoax. Now the world is split again. Is this proof of the resurrection, or just the most sophisticated forgery in history? The Vatican has never declared it authentic, but they guard it fiercely. Over 600,000 hours of scientific research have failed to explain the image or reproduce it. And now with AI revealing the face that feels alive, the shroud to mystery isn't fading. It's growing, because whether it's artifact or miracle, the question remains. What happened in that tomb? And did this cloth capture the moment everything changed?